This is an eighth video in this series working with the MakeHuman model in Blender. And in the last video we left off working on the legs and building the rigging for the legs. So we're going to carry on with that and start adding the constraints to the legs. So I'll go into edit mode and start at the upper leg. The upper leg will be child of the hip bone. So I'll select them in that order. Control P, make parent, keep offset. The plain bone, leg plain left, will be child of the leg IK bone. Again, select them in that order. Control P, make parent, keep offset. The leg IK bone will be child of the foot left bone. So I'll select those in that order. Control P, make parent, keep offset. The ankle left bone will be child of the foot left bone. Again, Control P, make parent, keep offset. The foot left bone is already child of the lower leg as an extrusion, they're connected bones. Same with the lower foot left bone is child of the upper foot left bone because it's an extrusion, so they're connected bones as well. The toes left bone should be child of the foot left bone. So, control P, make parent, keep offset. The foot left bone I'm going to make child of the balance bone. And it's a choice between hip and balance, and I'll talk about that later when we have all the constraints in place. For now, I'll make it to the balance bone though. So make parent and keep offset. Then we can add the other constraints to this assembly. So to do that, we'll need to go into pose mode. In pose mode, I'll select the toes left bone and then the lower foot left bone and add a constraint, control alt C. And I'll use a copy rotation constraint. This will turn the lower foot left bone green. Now we'll add some IK constraints. First, from the toes left bone to the upper foot left bone, we'll add the IK constraint. Shift I, add constraint to active bone, and set a chain length of 1. From the leg IK bone to the lower leg bone. Shift I, Add IK constraint to active bone, this one the chain length of 2. And then from the leg plane bone to the upper leg bone, shift I, add IK constraint, chain length of 1. And that's all of the constraints for the leg bone. And it's now functional. The foot left bone will act as a grabbing bone and control more or less the upper and lower leg bones but also hold the toes bone at a constant angle so that it somewhat hits the floor and kind of acts as though a floor for the toe bone. The toe bone can also act as a grab, which will rotate the foot at the ankle, and can also be rotated as a rotation bone, but will need to be a median point to do that. So it can be rotated as a rotation bone as well. As a grab bone, you'll notice that the toes left bone is able to become disembodied from the rigging. 
has IK bones. There's a series of bones here which should be set to not deform the mesh. The leg plane bone, the toes left bone, the leg IK bone, the foot left bone, and the ankle bone. We'll look at all these bones as being IK bones and set them to not deform the mesh. So we'll do that very quickly. Then when parented to the to the mesh, they will um, not be assigned any vertex groups. There's one final step to complete this assembly. So we'll go back into edit mode. Look at it from a front view. And select the entire assembly. So we'll box select that. Go into pose mode temporarily and get our model back into the scene. And then go back into edit mode with that leg selected. We're to zoom in on the leg and use the number 8 key to rotate up a bit. We can have a closer look at how things are sitting here. And the overall leg is a little bit to the right, which plays out to be fairly convenient because our one toe bone is slightly to the right of the ring finger toe, which is more or less a central toe in the foot. So we're going to grab that entire assembly now <coughs> and slide it along the x-axis until the toe bone is centered in the toe. And I figure that's about the best we're going to manage to center this assembly. In the next video we're going to look at completing the toes as well as adding a similar copy rotation restraint as in the fingers. But I'm thinking that'll be too time consuming for this video. And from there we'll go up to the head and try to complete the head as well. So that'll be in the next couple of videos where we'll add an eye and a couple additional bones and I may use a secondary model to demonstrate the head before we add any bones to that but I haven't really decided on that yet but that's it for this video and just some of the stuff that will be coming up in the next videos so until then happy modeling